A South Florida family says they want answers. Their adopted child ran away months ago, and they want to know why police aren't looking for her. So they called Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. If you have one or two children, you know how hectic life can be. Now imagine being Mildred Bacon. I have eight kids. I birthed eight kids. The children kept Mildred and her husband busy. Then when their youngest girls were teenagers, Mildred got a call about a relative. My great niece, Christy, had been left in the hospital. Um, her parents was nowhere to be found. Little Christy's parents could not take care of her. Mildred and her husband took her in. And a year later, she officially became their child. We adopted Christy by the time she was a year old. A loving home with caring parents. Christy was wonderful. Then when she turned 12, she shocked the family. She had walked away from the house. We called the police. They found her walking down commercial. That was the first time Christy ran away. Then she started doing it over and over. If she got upset, or we didn't even know she was upset. She would, she would just leave. Each time Christy ran away, the police were called. Each time the family went out looking for her. My whole family walked the streets looking for Christy. Eventually, days, weeks later, Christy would come home once telling them she stayed in an abandoned house and swept a barber shop for money. And we asked the guy. He said, yeah, she'd come in in the evening time and he'd have her sweep the shop and he'd give her five or ten dollars. Christy wouldn't tell her family why she ran away. She was tested for drugs. There were no traces. Christy met with a psychologist and a school counselor to see if they could get through to her. Her attitude had improved. And then all of a sudden, my husband took her to school, put her off in front of the school, and we ain't seen her since. That was two months ago. Mildred called the police again. Clearly, they were tired of hearing from her. Miss Bacon, you haven't fixed your daughter yet. What do you expect us to do? Mildred was devastated. Her family can't find Christy, leading Mildred with just memories and her imagination. That's how I'm kill her. No one seems to know why Christy runs away, and Mildred is stunned that no one seems to want to help her find her runaway daughter. Does the police have a responsibility that once they know something to try at least follow up on it? Well, Howard, I think I know the answer, but legally do police have to look for a teenager that has a history of running away? No, they do not have to look, but they must take a report and immediately notify the officers on duty of the missing child. Then, within two hours, they must transmit that report to the National Crime Information Center so that any police officer in America will see it if they come in contact with the missing child. First of all, the police told us they had entered Christie's name with the National Crime Information Center. We've been doing this for 16 years. We're nationwide. Then we spoke to the founder of A Child is Missing based in Broward, which calls every phone number listed within a quarter of a mile after they get a report of a missing child or elderly person. You can't run around to a thousand apartments in 60 seconds to find a missing. It goes to landlines and cell phones. And we encourage people to go up to our website, achildismissing.org, and enter their cell phone numbers. Mildred has done everything she can do. Now she can only sit and wait. Christy, I love you. We love you. We want you. You can always come home. Now, if you know where Christy is, please call her parents or the Help Me Howard line so that at least know she's alive and doing okay. And if your child is missing and a police agency won't cooperate, call the Florida Department of Law Enforcement's missing persons number. It's here or on our website at wsvn.com under Help Me Howard. Also, a lot of times kids come back home. If they do, call the police so they can take them out of the missing children database. With this Help Me Howard, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.